Oh, this feels good. Oh, that feels good. Oh, yes. Oh, f yeah. Oh, that feels so good. What's up everyone, uh, Karu here from my Tennis HQ and today we're going to do a little racket hip review. Uh, this is the new Head Pro Tour 2.0. This firstly came out in 1994 and they just updated and it looks unbelievable. Um, this is a 1820 string pattern, uh, 345 grams strung, 335 uh, swing weight and 7 points headlight. So this, is gonna, so this is my first hit with it. So we're just going to jump right to it. Okay, I, I've never hit with it. Uh, let's get my first impressions with it. Looks a lot like a prestige. Oh. Ooh, this feels good. Oh, that feels good. That feels good for the back end. Yeah, this just feels saffin. Oh, yes. Oh, that feels so good. It's heavy. Feels heavy. Or like feels like it has good mass. Like it just swings through the ball really well. Ooh. Ah. Not a lot of sweet spot. You gotta hit clean, that's for sure. Oh, one more. Here we go. That's nice. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you definitely need like a full swing at it. Can't just like wrist it. Eh. Oh, that. It's good, it's good. All right. All right, so now we're, let's run through everything. Let's do a little bit of ground strokes, a little bit of volley serving, returning, got a feel for everything. Sounds good? I hit through the middle. I just kind of warmed up everything uh, so I could play some points. I think if you're trying a new racket, just hitting through the middle, it's not gonna give you um, a realistic feel for the racket. So playing points, just some baseline games to see how the racket was going to help me, how the racket wasn't going to help me. Um, it was really important. So just playing here with Moosh, uh, I just picked a few of the a few of the the best points. But what I could what I can say is that the racket obviously it's not an easy racket to play with. Um, it feels good when you hit the ball well, but it's not necessarily the easiest racket to play with. And we'll touch. Uh, a little bit more about that later in the video uh, the first thing is because the head size being 95 and the string pattern being 1820 the racket doesn't create a lot of of shape uh, the ball just kind of comes very straight off the racket so I was actually finding myself missing in the net way more often um, than I was used to um, I just obviously if you play with enough with it you're gonna kind of get a feel for it and adjust your stroke a little bit to it uh, the second thing was it really made me hit with full strokes. It, it was really hard to um, have to fix things with my hands. And, I mean, a part of my game is actually, you know, I, I can get crafty and things like that. I didn't feel like I could as much with this racket. Um, especially on the forehand side, I really needed, like, a lot of extension, getting the ball a lot in front of me um, to actually create the right amount of shape. So... Even if the racket felt very good, and I've played with a Prestige before, and I, I really liked Prestige for a lot of things, um, the lack of forgiveness um, for me it would be kind of like a no-go. Uh, I wouldn't fully commit to playing with this racket, but I do really enjoy the f the old school feel. And overall, I mean, it, it's just like a, a good racket for players who have good strokes. Um, it's a very, very good racket, um, but it will highlight um, you know any hitches on your strokes and you know the older players who like that kind of old-school feel rackets I think they're gonna really enjoy it 
but definitely while I was playing points, uh, I struggled with a little bit extra with it, and I don't think it would be for me particularly, but it is a great racket, a great feeling rack, especially hitting down the middle kind of gives you that old school vibe, so um, I enjoyed it, I think it's a great racket, I think a lot of people are going to enjoy it, I just, for me, it wasn't like necessarily the best fit. So, Moosh, what did you think about the rocket? What are your first impressions? What, uh, what do you think? Strengths, weaknesses, things like that. Well, first impression, uh, let me tell you, I've played with the Prestige since I was 12. And um, honestly, I didn't like the newer models that kept coming up. And when I tried this today for the first time, I was like, oh, wow. It gives the classical feel, the Prestige almost. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I definitely like the 1820 string powder for the control. And then, but that lacks in power. However, the mass of the racket being 345 strong with the grip on, it gives enough plow through so you don't have to worry about power. Mm. Spins a little low, obviously, but I'm a fly hitter, so I like that aspect of it. Yeah. Uh, I think it gives a nice control on the flat for a serve, the drives on all the shots. Um, I'm pretty soft here on the volley. It's not the most forgiving, but I do definitely think you need to move a lot to play yeah, consistent yeah. with it. Yeah. It definitely emphasizes that aspect of it. Um, if you do get tired, the sweet spot does go a little off, I would say. Yeah, I agree with that. I yeah. mean, my forehand is a little bit bigger swing than you guys. Yeah. So I think for compact hitters, it's good. Like, mm -hmm. my backhand, it felt really good. Slice. Uh, even the volleys were okay, but uh, the whippy forehand, especially on the run, you know, the sweet spot is small. So I think yeah. that uh, if it just depends on your game style. Yeah. Um, the, it it yeah. just depends. For the ground strokes, yeah, for sure the ground strokes, it's like... You kind of have to hit it. You can't just like can't guide, it. guide it and not trust it. So, um, you know, people are maybe a little more old school. They have like you know those like bigger strokes are gonna yeah. really like it. Um, not necessarily a lot of top spin. Um, the ball travels very linear, so yeah. you gotta have to adjust that if you play already flat. Definitely for aggressive. Uh, base yeah, you gotta you gotta be aggressive. You gotta be committed to your strokes. You gotta hit everything very committed. So that's mm -hmm. like. A big part of it. Um, I think, yeah, but it feels good. Yeah. It feels good. I mean, just... I think it, it definitely can highlight if you have hitches in, in any of your yeah. techniques. Yeah, exactly. Yes. Uh, yes. You know, if you, if have... you have a hitchy forehand or something funny so, on yeah. the on the serve, even uh, I think it'll highlight that because the sweet spot is so small. Yeah, it's not very forgiving. For the though. clean hitters and you know the the technically sound, especially on the backhand, it's it really comes off well. Yeah. I think good you control. Also mentioned. You know, you can't yeah. Hit inside. Yeah, you kind of have, have to extend to it. You always have to hit like very extended. It's hard to like, you know, just yeah. kind of get it here. Um, so if you don't, if you don't really extend too much your strokes, this is a tough bracket to play with. But I mean, it feels really good. It feels very old school. Uh, for slices, it's very good. Very, very good. Very good for slices. Yeah. Anything that requires requires few is very good. Uh, one handers too. Like the guys have full four, uh, full backhands like with a one handed. I think that's. A good racket too. I mean, older older players that you know enjoy this feel. If they're not finding a racket they like anymore that has this feel, yeah. I think this will be a good. I think big guys technically yeah. like big serves, you know, big, big serves. roundabout strokes. I think we'll definitely enjoy playing yeah. that. Volleys. Uh, for me, it was a little tough to volley. I don't know if it's something with the mass or uh, it's firm, but like again, it's like I just yeah. I didn't really feel like I could just you know the ball as much as like, I have to be very aggressive it with might the come back to the, the smaller sweet spot you yeah. know like in the volley sometimes you catch it a little yeah. little off and you're used to making it feel uh, yeah. still like you made it solid you know yeah. just redirecting and this one if it comes a little off then it, it was yeah, missed so it for that, sure yeah. volley yeah volley was a little tough but still like I think people that like the feel of the racket overall that always play with rackets like this will, yeah. will be very familiar yeah. That's for sure. For yeah. sure, um, guys who you know kind of miss the old prestige, I would definitely say this is the closest thing to it. Yeah. Because the new prestige is a 98, it's a little bigger head screen, yeah. the size, and then it's thinner beam, so it's completely modern feel. So I guess whoever doesn't like yeah. the modern feel could yeah. definitely enjoy buying a few of these. Yeah. Um, for serving, what do you guys think? I, I thought it was coming off big on the serve. Yeah. Um, I mean, it's also different for me, I think, because I'm tall. Uh, I can get that power from up here. If you're a smaller guy, I'm not sure, but uh, you know, generating that power from lower down uh, might have a little bit more of a struggle. But for me personally, it was it was coming off really really big. I thought. Yeah, I think 
given that small head size, it gives a nice uh, racket speed to the serve to get pop it. Mm -hmm. yeah. Personally, I think on the kick serve, it's a bit tough because there's not much room to kind of yeah, you know, I agree with that. get a little action on the ball. But again, I think on the slice, the big flat and the body serves, you can really take a nice crack at it. Yeah, I liked it too. I think again, it's it, if you have like a technically sound serve, it will yeah. help you. Mm -hmm. will help, yeah. Like you really like from this position here, the racket really goes. I think the mass like makes, mm -hmm. makes the ball pop um, and it's, pre it's precise if you're looking for a racket that you know is going to improve precision oh, the the serve. Reason, right? exactly <laughs> it's, it's a good it's a good racket for serving it's a good racket for serving but again for people who are a little more advanced um, in their tennis yeah. journey I'd say not necessarily someone that's just starting uh, returns again is the same thing it needs it doesn't really help you too much um, on the returns, like you gotta be clean. If you are clean, if you're hitting it clean, it's gonna, it's gonna be, you know, good impact. But again, you need a good amount of extension, especially on the forehand here. Uh, it can feel a little wobbly the back, and it feels good. But um, overall, like to return big, big serves, I mean, you're gonna have to be like right at it. You, it's not gonna give you too much if you just have to fix with your hands. Um, but I think overall, overall really good. I mean, I think it's like a good racket for guys who play through the court. Yeah. Um, and, you know, that aggressive play. If you're playing a lot up and down and uh, not coming forward much and wanting to, you know, run side to side, I don't think it's great. Um, but, you know, guys who are willing to step up, take balls early, come in and, and use their weapons, I think it's actually a good racket. Yeah. I, I, I thought it was a pretty good, good racket. Again, not necessarily the best for, I'd say, beginners, people yeah. who don't have good strokes. Um, older players, I think you guys are going to enjoy it because yeah. it, it really is like a old school racket. Yeah. Um, and it's solid overall. I like it. I don't know if I would play with it. I play with right. the, the Speed Pro. Uh, what do you guys play with? I play with the Babylon uh, Pure Strike. Yeah. So it, the racket I also use is 1619. So it's yeah, definitely a little different, true. you know. Uh, on the run, it gives you a little bit more spin. Uh, this one, not as much. I'm used to that. Uh, but it definitely felt better on the slice for this, uh, yeah. for sure. And as far as the spec goes, I think overall, when I called up Tennis Warehouse to buy it, um, you know, I wasn't sure if they're going to hit the mark because a lot of stock rockets come off a little off from what they advertise. But this overall it came out pretty even for the most part, given that it has a classic mold to it. So anybody who's worried about having to match rackets or, you know, coming off about uh, 6 to 10 grams off, I think that's one plus of it, that you're going to get a pretty accurate specs when it comes to overall design of it. All right, I think that's about it. That's the Head Pro Tour 2.0. Um, if you guys want to see more racket reveals, let us know. Uh, this is our first one. We're, we're planning on doing many more. And uh, make sure you subscribe. I'm going to emphasize this every time. Um, visit MyTennisHQ.com. Follow us on social media. I'll put the, our handles here somewhere. And I'll see you guys on the next one.